the ultimate combination of speed, accuracy, and penetration. Shoot better. Carbon Express. Ben and I are making a move right now. It's 10 to 30 in the morning. 10.30. And uh, we're headed back to the food plot to see if we can't catch up with the big seven. Dad saw him a couple nights ago. I'm gonna check the camera. It's the last chance I can get to sit on this deer for bow season. And then uh, once cousin season hits, it turns pretty chaotic from there. So tonight's the night, hopefully, to score on this big seven. The big seven is down. Brandon. The story just ended, Ben. Brandon. This is like full circle from, from when you got your 10 point, we're finally back together. You know what? That's a perfect shot, 40 yards. Big Seven is down. Brother Ben behind the camera. The killer food plot story has ended. You ten ring him at 40? Oh yeah, smoked him. I can't believe he went down like that. <laughs> My average shot with a bow kill and I joke about it, 40 yards or more. <laughs> That's July 11th plant right there and I've killed two deer over it. It's a good sight right there. Well, there it is, November 14th. The story of the Big Seven is now officially over. It's been a long, tough postseason, but we put some good bucks on the ground. Ben shot a great nine. Dad shot a great nine with Ben behind the camera. The story with him started back in July. Started getting trail cam pictures of him in velvet, out of velvet, and then again, about October 20th is the last time I saw him on camera. Well, Dad did some scouting for me. Saw him again about Wednesday night, which is about three days ago. Came in here with Ben and uh, as luck would have it, he came out so November 14th, had some does pushed through and some young bucks, and uh, he came out feeding in the food plot, and that was it. And there it is. Our season continues to, to roll. The Big Seven is down. With the New York archery season winding down, Brandon has done it. The Big Seven is down, and Brandon is tagged out. Hunting in Western New York presents challenges that not all parts of the country face, like extreme hunting pressure, over-the-counter tags, very long hunting seasons, and no age or antler restrictions makes finding and harvesting mature deer a real difficult task. But with a lot of time and a lot of hard work, the Big Seven is a trophy that Brandon can be extremely proud of. Every hunt has a story. Some are quick, in and out. Some expand over years, consuming more time than you could ever believe. Often the stories become more than just harvesting an animal. And all of these are the stories certainly worth telling.
Follow the Bone Cold TV crew on Facebook and Instagram. And check out previous episodes at BoneColdTV.com and AntlerIce.com.